I don't have my car today which means I'm going to be getting some healthy exercise finally going to walk a bit then catch the bus hop onto a metro take a taxi Altair Motors Go to my service station and get my car. Oh, I just love my car. I just love my car. I mean, I really, really love my car. Like, I really, really like my car. Like, I really, really like my car. I really really like my car. Do I love it? Maybe not, but I really really like my car. So there's no way I'm going to be getting rid of this and getting the car of my dreams because quite honestly, I don't need it. I want it, but I don't need it. I would love to get a Mustang, but I don't need to get a Mustang. Same way, the gear that you have, you may not be very happy with it, but quite honestly, you don't need to buy new gear just to fill that need of getting new gear all the time. So my tip is to get the equipment you can afford. It may be the cheapest one, but something like the 51.8 for a young, new photographer is the best equipment that you can invest in. I actually don't like the word investment because you can interpret the word investment into many different ways. One of the ways is I need equipment now so I need to go and take a loan or I need to put it on my credit card to buy new stuff. Uh, quite honestly, you don't. You don't need to. My most used camera to date, even now, is the Sony A7, which is the first Sony A7 that came in, the first full frame Sony mirrorless camera that came in. So I got my Sony A7, the first version, for about four and a half thousand dirhams. You can get something that's used for about two and a half, three thousand. But yeah, I still love it. I still, I still absolutely love it. I think it's the best camera I, I own right now. Most of my weddings, most of my portraits, everything I do is shot on that. So quite honestly, you guys don't need to tell anyone or prove to anyone how professional you are just by the amount of equipment you guys own. So don't let anyone fool you into thinking that if you have good gear, you're going to be an awesome photographer. And we are back. Well, actually, we didn't go anywhere, but you know, well, most of you guys know I used to be a cannon shooter. I had a couple of 5D Mark III bodies, which I sold and I switched over to Sony. One of the main reasons why I switched over to Team Orange was the improvement in technology in a camera. The other reason why I switched over to Team Orange was the ability to adapt any vintage lens to this mirrorless camera system. My favorite focal length is and will always be the wide angle. Some of my favorite shots have been taken from a wide angle lens. My wide angle lens of choice is this Konica Minolta, which is a vintage lens. I got this off eBay for about $100, which is about 400 dirhams. To be quite honest, this is a great lens and it gets my work done. My focal length of choice is around 85 to the 135 mark for portraits. At the time of buying the camera, all lenses for Sony were very expensive. So I made the decision to go with another vintage lens. My lens of choice was the Konica Minolta 100mm 2.8 macro lens. It's a great lens and I have got some amazing portraits with this. At the end of 2017, I finally replaced the 100mm macro with the Sony 85 1.8. This is definitely better, but for the past three to four years, I have been shooting mainly with this as my main portrait lens. If I had to choose one focal length to live the rest of my life with, that would be 35mm. And guess what? I have a 35mm vintage lens. That is this baby. It's a 35 2.8 Canon FD lens. Tack shop, 
gives me really, really good images. And I love it. I absolutely love this. From the day I started photography till date, one of my dream lenses to ever own has been a 35 1.4. Now I'm talking about 10 years of doing photography. I finally bought a 35 1.4 just a couple of weeks ago. And that's this monster right here. This is my baby. I love you. But in all seriousness, what I'm trying to tell you is that it took me 10 years to get the lens of my dream. Gear is not important. What you do with the equipment you have and the equipment that you can afford is what matters the most. If you have a very important shoot and you really, really need to get extra lenses, my suggestion is don't go out there and buy a new lens. You can always rent it. I'll post some links in the description below of places where you can actually go out there and rent lenses and other equipment. Forget lenses, you can even rent cameras, you can rent lighting equipment, you can rent camera accessories, photography accessories, videography accessories. All this is available for you to rent at close to about one tenth of the price you would pay for the equipment. So instead of blocking your money on equipment that you have purchased, instead of buying these equipment, I would suggest you rent them out especially when you have those big events or big projects that you're working on. So that's my tip for you today. Don't let gear hold you down from being a better photographer. If that was the excuse you had to not go out there and shoot, well, now you don't have that excuse anymore. So go out there, create some amazing stuff. Share your work with me. I would love to know what you guys are up to. So till next week, this is Joe saying, Peace out.